Hey guys, how are you doing? Apple have released a bunch of software updates for both developers and public beta testers day before yesterday. In the next three minutes, we are going to see the list of changes coming to your iPhone and iPad. Also, the battery performance after updating to the iOS 18.1 beta 2. I just want to share my opinion by the end of this episode. Recently, I have published a video about the Apple intelligence preview and the call recording feature that came with the iOS 18.1. I'll leave a link to them in the description and in the first comment. If you want it, you can check that out too. So the very first change that comes to the iOS 18.1 and 18 beta 6 version is now under the control center connectivity section we have the separate toggle for the bluetooth where we can drag and drop it in the control center to access it quickly if you don't want to tap the network widget in the control center each time to access the bluetooth toggle on and off then you can use that feature for quick access the second one is within the photos app they are continuously working with each beta and in this beta 6 and in the 18.1 beta 2 now they have introduced the albums folder creating option i'm not sure whether this was you know there previously but right now it is working and the photos app layout is pretty much clean compared to the initial release as you can see you can create new folder for the albums that you create or already created and you can combine them and put them in as a separate folder the thumbnails will normally appear but in my case since the iOS 18.1 update all my albums have been reset to zero photos so it's possibly a bug I think maybe in upcoming update we will see the fix but you have the idea how this new folder creation works and the next important thing is when you customize the wallpaper and you set tinted icons for specific wallpaper set then when you change the wallpaper and come back to the same wallpaper the same tinted settings will be preserved previously it was changing according to the wallpaper you use but right now the settings will be saved according to the wallpaper set you were using and you can quickly access it from the lock screen or home screen wallpaper customization window and you can change it back you know to access the same tinted icons settings preserved carefully and the next important change is within the music app previously it was saying the browse to explore the music content you know in the apple music uh, but right now it is renamed to new so it's just a minor change and the next important thing is when it comes to the apple intelligence in siri which is available for iphone 15 pro and pro max models and other compatible ipad models initially europe was not available when the beta 1 18.1 was released and right now if the user able to change the apple id country and region along with the device settings to english united states they'll be able to access the apple intelligence feature it now works in europe the last one is the battery performance i notice during the idle time and while using the phone with the ios 18.1 running in my iphone 15 pro max i'm able to get only one day usage which is definitely not good in previous ios 17.6 and 6.1 the stable updates the battery performance was excellent i was able to get 1.5 days for my usage but the battery drain is clearly visible with the 18.1 beta version being the beta i cannot complain much but i just want to put it there so you can understand whether there is any battery drain problem present in iOS 18 beta or not so based on that you can decide to update it on your primary device or on the secondary device thank you so much for watching for more useful iPhone iPad and Mac related tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe feel free to share this episode if you find it useful thank you and have a wonderful day